I rarely get these stickers, but it's cool when I get them. All right, so these are headway cells. I've seen them for years. I've wanted, wanted to get them. I just never did. And so now I've got them. So these are 38, 120 lithium iron phosphate, eight amp hour cells. Now these will deliver a lot of current. These, this is a lithium iron phosphate battery that's known for a very high discharge and charge rate. And these are supposed to be used cells, but there's not a scratch on it. I mean, like, it looks new. I mean, it's not dirty. It's, there's no tarnish or anything on the terminals. And these are mega cheap at battery hookup. I got 16 of them. I got cell holders. Nice, these snap together. Ah, there it is. Very nice. Okay, they fit in there, not super tight. So they'll definitely have to be something uh, holding them together. And I got uh, bus bars. Yeah. So I want to take one of these cells and charge it up and do a capacity test on it to see what uh, capacity we get out of these. Okay, well, it's charging, and uh, I'll just let it go and come back when it's charged. All right, that battery charged up quite quick. Uh, it was probably pretty close to being fully charged. Uh, so now we're going to do a capacity test. Let's set it to 8 amps. Pull in 8 amps, and uh, I'm just going to let it do its thing, and I'll be back when it's complete. The test completed and we have uh, 7.719 amp hours 24.2 watt hours you know for used cells at five dollars a pop here on their website five bucks a pop I'm not even gonna complain about that that's close enough for me I mean that 7.7 .7 amp hours for used cells these things are so cheap that's not bad at all I'm not even going to complain. Look how nice those batteries look. I love the look of these batteries. This like semi-opaque red shrink wrap is awesome. I want to find that. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. So the uh, one cell discharge test was I would say pretty satisfactory given that these are so cheap and they're marked as used cells and uh, they don't have any kind of guarantee of what uh, you know capacity they'll they'll pull but uh, I think what I might want to do uh, I don't want to but I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna test the capacity of each individual cell and it's gonna take well it's going to take an hour for each one, so it's going to take 16 hours. <laughs> that way I can determine if I've got some that are really kind of low. You know, if they're all in the seven and a half amp hour range, I'm cool with that. But if I've got some maybe in the six range, I may order some more from Battery Hookup, maybe four more or something like that. They're only five bucks a piece. And, um, you know, replace any that are, that are really low in the capacity. I've got them all strung up in parallel, and I'm gonna plug my hobby charger in right here and set it to uh, one cell lithium iron phosphate, charge it all up to 3.65. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do with these, but I think I've got an idea, and this look is gonna be really neat. I've noticed that uh, these cells are quite popular with the audio guys. And I just want to say that I've watched some of their, their videos and they seem to be under the misconception that you can balance the, the cells by just putting them all in parallel like I've got them here. If you're an audio guy and you're watching this video, that's not going to balance your cells. You actually have to apply a charge to them all in parallel. So you need a charger that will charge them to 3.65 volts while they're all in parallel 
that will actually balance them but what you guys are doing whenever you're putting them in parallel uh, in no type of charge you're, you're thinking you're gonna leave them overnight or a w even a week it's not gonna balance them uh, lithium iron phosphate doesn't work that way just wanted to give you guys that little service announcement <laughs> getting these things charged up they're at like 3.43 volts right now charging at 16 amps and I've put in about 17.7 .7 amps I think the last one I charged up that I did the capacity test on I think I had to put in about 2 amp hours uh, so this probably will run at least another hour So the first four are completed so we've, on the first one we got 7.8, then 7.7, 7.6, and 7.6 amp hours. I'm going to go ahead and charge these back up and continue testing uh, the rest of them. Alright, so I've tested all the cells and this is what we've got. We got one single 7.5 amp hour. We got four... 7.6, two 7.7s, three 7.8s, two 7.9, three 8, and one 8.2. So the lowest capacity obviously is the 7.5. If I was to build this into a 16S 48 volt pack, this lowest capacity 7.5 amp hour would dictate the capacity of the whole pack. Now if you were building this pack into say a 12 volt you could mix these lower capacity cells in of each different capacity and you could blend them together. I think there's a website you can go to to put in the, the uh, capacity of each cell and it'll show you the best way to parallel them all together and you'd actually get more energy storage uh, doing it that way same thing with a 24 volt if you were to do two in parallel you could match up a low capacity cell with a high capacity cell for each parallel spot and you would get more power all right guys so if you want to get cells like this i'll leave links it's on, it's that battery hookup and if you use my discount code BMC, you'll save, I think, 5%. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.